What's going on, guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost, and the calls are still out there to restore the Snyderverse after the release of Zack Snyder's Justice League. And one of the things that people want to see is David Ayer's Suicide Squad, because David Ayer, in the making of Suicide Squad, had very similar issues to what happened to Zack Snyder. He made a movie, he filmed a movie, and then all of a sudden, the studio came down and said, hey, this isn't going to work. We need you to hammer this into something different. We want to make it like Marvel. We want to make it like Guardians of the Galaxy, like Deadpool. Can you do that for us? And that's what we ended up getting. The absolute disaster that was Suicide Squad. Now, it ended up making a decent amount of money for what it was in the theaters, but that movie, when you look at it, it is so chopped and cut to pieces. And when you look at the difference between what the original trailer was, this kind of dark, soulful drama, into what it became, again, something in an attempt to be like Guardians of the Galaxy... It makes zero sense. And there is a different movie under there. David Ayer has told us himself. Yesterday, the fans rallied together and got released the air cut trending. Over 100,000 tweets, as you can see from the air cut account itself. 100K, we did it, guys. Congratulations. Now let's keep the train rolling for David Ayer movies. And David Ayer himself even put out a little more information. Now we have seen, he put out a script, a little bit of a piece of a script just to show how different a little portion of his movie would have been, let alone the entire thing. Well, he put out a picture yesterday that really got people talking, just to kind of show everybody that, yeah, what he said, when he says, you know, Diablo doesn't die in my version, he's not fucking lying. You can see from Mercury, Suicide Squad, David Ayer's Suicide Squad, hashtag release the air cut. Now, this is from the theatrical version. You see here at the end of the day, there's Rick Flagg fucking kneeling over uh, basically the implosion that happened to Enchantress. Well, David Ayer um, looks a little bit different, doesn't it? Because Diablo is still there. Diablo did not sacrifice himself. Diablo is still living. Now, we know other things were supposed to be in David Ayer's Suicide Squad. It was supposed to connect very, very much to Zack Snyder's Justice League. Evidently, Steppenwolf was involved. Parademons were involved. All of that was chopped out, ripped apart, cut to pieces, and completely put back together. I, for one, really want to see this version of the movie that lines up with Zack Snyder's Justice League, and I think a lot of fans would too. And even AT&T themselves responded. AT&T gave everyone hope yesterday, but they've since kind of ripped that away, if I'm being honest with you guys. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Geralt of the Snyderverse says, I have a feeling it's happening. David has started to post black and white shots, and now AT&T is teasing us. Because in the replies to an AT&T quote, someone posted that script for the air cut. You see, release the air cut. We'll read through that script, so I'll tell you guys exactly what this is referencing. Someone says, holy shit, that's awesome. AT&T responds, it is pretty sweet. Now, unfortunately, I have to let you guys know that uh, that has since been deleted. That tweet was right here. Um, that has been deleted by AT&T. Now, what my guess is, this person at the AT&T Twitter account didn't really understand the implications of doing that. Probably got a lot of feedback once people started spreading this around and they were asked to delete it. Maybe they were actually replying to this person about the script. Maybe they were replying and thought that, holy shit, that's awesome, about the MLS. I don't know. What I do know is this is what they responded to before deleting the tweet. This is from David Ayer. He put this out himself. I think he deleted it after he put it out, probably because he would have gotten in trouble. But it was enough for screenshots to be taken. Continued. Enchantress squares off against the seven ragged and exhausted interlopers. They approach her high noon style. Boomer reacts, turns white with, with horror. Holy hell, I found Waller. Now they all see her. Amanda Waller is levitating upside down behind the Enchantress. Unconscious and oddly glowing. Her head is wired up with black inky tendrils from Enchantress's aura. That stops the squad dead in their tracks. Then... The army light on their necks begins to flash red. What the hell? Joker steps out, holding Waller's detonator in his hand. And of course, Joker is one of the main things that was cut in a huge way from this movie. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of some of Jared Leto's parts in Suicide Squad. I would love to see more of him. I loved his parts in Zack Snyder's Justice League, with the exception of his laugh. I don't like the laugh, and I don't think I ever will. But other than that, I absolutely thought it was fucking phenomenal. But the Joker is here at the end. Joker, one more step you die because snitches get stitches. Switching sides with the law, it's supposed to be us versus them, not us versus us. 
Harley beams with joy. Puddin', Harley? He's not real, says Flag. I'm the most real thing here. I'm the walking, talking truth. Or maybe I'm not. And if I'm not, maybe this won't blow his head off. Joker's thumb hovers over Deadshot's face on the screen. Deadshot to Flag. He's real. Dude's real, okay? To Joker. Joker, you know I never had no beef with you. Enchantress, bring me the sword. I want the sword. Joker, Harley dear, please give us the, give the woman the sword. Harley looks at her new friends and shrugs. So, this is just one of the small ways in which the air cut of Suicide Squad was vastly different. AT&T unfortunately deleted their response, which I think is going to take a lot of hope away from people. Or maybe people are just going to spin it as well. Maybe they weren't supposed to say anything yet. Uh, listen, regardless of whether they meant to say it or not, regardless of that, the fans are going to continue this. The fans are going to continue asking for what they want because... Warner Brothers has proven time and time again that they are a mess. DC, the DCEU, is an absolute fucking mess. They have no plan going forward. We look at what's going on with The Flash, and we still don't know who's going to be in that movie. Michael Keaton still is not committing to that movie. We know that film's been in developmental hell. So what even is the DCU at this point? These fans are going to ask for what they want and they want Warner Brothers to give it to them because look, there's a huge, pe there's a huge amount of people out there that want to pay them money for this, and they are not going away. Let me know what you think about all this in the comments below, including AT&T responding and then retracting their response about the air cut. Let me know in the comments below. Smash a like button, subscribe to the channel, ring the bell for notifications, share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching, everyone, and a huge shout out to my patrons. I appreciate you guys so much. Want to follow me on Twitter or Instagram? Check out the description below. You'll find links to my P.O. Box and my Patreon as well. And I'll talk to you guys later.